It has been over a year now since 23-year-old Tyler Smith was found dead in Galesburg at the bottom of Cedar Fork Creek. Police have said his official cause of death was drowning and that they don't suspect foul play. His family and outside law enforcement, though, gathered at the place where his body was found to say they disagree. The Missing Persons Awareness Network, along with a crime scene recreationist and a retired Cook County police officer, say they've re-examined the evidence and believe Galesburg police didn't do enough. They're calling for Illinois State Police to now take this case over. They're also asking for a second autopsy. Opinion number one, Tyler Smith likely suffered a battery by persons not yet known that directly led to his death. He was likely unconscious prior to his final placement partially in Cedar Fork Creek. We miss our son and as hard as it will be for us to allow his body to be exhumed for a second autopsy, we are to the point that we understand it's important for answers for finding the truth. The former police officer there says that evidence of cuts and bruises point to battery and that another autopsy would need to be done to find more evidence. He says video from nearby Casey's also shows Mr. Smith walking with no signs of a problem. The coroner has said that his blood alcohol content was 0.246. Mitchell Drake, the former police chief, says he wanted to talk with Galesburg's police chief but was not able to discuss the case. Now, we did reach out to Galesburg PD today. Captain Rod Riggs tells us they stand by the investigation into Tyler Smith's death, which concluded that he died in an accidental drowning. Captain Riggs says they consulted with the Knox County State's Attorney's Office and the coroner and found no evidence of a crime.